Welcome to our CAPTCHA 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a look at the workspace of CAPTCHA. By default, CAPTCHA projects start in this layout configuration with four windows, two by two, next to each other. This window arrangement is called a quad arrangement. We have an alternate arrangement available that we call the wide arrangement. This arranges the three design views on the left-hand side and the project window on the right-hand side. This works particularly well on wide screen monitors or very large monitors. All of the windows in the workspace can be maximized by double-clicking on their title bar. In the wide arrangement, windows on the left-hand side maximize on the left-hand side while when in the quad arrangement, windows maximize over all of the other windows. In the top right corner of each view, you will find two buttons. The first one, the arrow button, is the same as double clicking on the title bar, it maximizes the view. The second button is the eject button. This allows you to undock a view from capture, and transfers the view into this floating window. This is useful, for instance, for moving it to another monitor, particularly good in multi-monitor setups. It is also possible to open several of the design tab categories as well as the fixture and universe tab in floating windows. This is done from the window menu, where you can find the layers, filters, materials, fixtures and universes options. Selecting one of these opens the corresponding content in the floating window. Capture remembers the position and size of the floating window until the next time you open it. This means you can build completely customized workspace layout incorporating multiple monitors and they are stored and recalled as you save and open a project. I would also like you a few other options available for customizing your workspace. These are available under the options choice in the tools menu. Here you can find a wide assortment of options, starting with things like the language of the user interface, and whether to rely on the computer settings or manually specify metric or imperial measurements. Capture always accepts both metric and imperial input, but this option governs which it uses by default when showing you numbers. We also have the ability to customize a number of colors of the user interface such as the greens in the navigator and the red as well as the grid colors. Finally there is a section of options that modify and adjust the way the navigation works. Here for instance you can invert the zoom of the mouse and disable specific features like zooming to the cursor or sliding edges as you are moving objects. Finally, I would like to highlight the locked layers and selectable features, which is very useful. When this is enabled, clicking on an object in a layer that is locked does not select it. This can help you prevent accidental modifications of objects in layers that are important. Thanks for watching and see you soon again.